Uh, dear all ASIP members, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ASIP 2020. We will begin the 10th ASIP conference opening ceremony. Firstly, I would like to introduce our outstanding VIPs. Previous former president of ASP, uh, Professor Sir. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you again. Uh, current Kutis uh, president, uh, Professor O. Hello. And I will introduce uh, current uh, A president of ASP. Professor Ko. And I will introduce a former Vice Minister and current President of Korea Innovation Foundation, President Yang. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, a former Administrator of Korean Meteorological <laughs> Administration, uh, uh, President Lee. Yes, hey, oh. okay. <laughs> and also, uh, finally, uh, former, former Vice Minister and also current President of Research Institute for Gangwon, uh, President Park. Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in ASIP 2020, uh, we select a wonderful conference topic that is STI for uh, sustainable, inclusive, and smart development. As you know, uh, this year's conference was actually going to be held in Cambodia. However, the worldwide spread of COVID-19 virus has delayed or canceled many global conferences. Uh, nevertheless, we are proud and pleased that ASIP 2020 is held by both online and offline. About 10 countries uh, has participated in this com conference and about 50 papers will be presented. I think this tells us that ASIP is indeed the top Asian conference in the field of technological innovation and policy. All these were possible uh, because of many institutions and members and volunteers. Uh, I would like to introduce you the host and sponsors organizations. Host uh, National Science and Technology Council of the Kingdom of Cambodia, Royal University of Phnom Penh, RUPP, Korea Institute of Science and Technology Information, KIST, and Science and Technology Policy Institute, TEP, and Korea Technology Innovation Society, KOST, and sponsors are Institute for National Public Policy, Chungnam National University, Osong Medical Innovation Foundation, National Assembly for Futures Institute, Daedok Innopolis Venture Association, Department of Science and Technology Policy, Bukyong National University and Research Institute for Gangwon. There are many others who have helped us hold the conference. I would like to big thanks them on behalf, on behalf of the ASIP. Now we'll proceed with the opening ceremony. Uh, I would like to say sorry. Uh, firstly, welcoming address was actually will be produced by Professor Sokbeni, Vice President of RUPP, but he, was, he cannot be connected because of the problem of the internet. So, uh, Professor Ko, uh, current President of ASIP, will give you opening remarks.
Good afternoon. Welcome to Jeju. Um, I'm Yongju Go, uh, first president of Daejeon Institute of mm -hmm. Science, Technology for Enterprise and People in Daejeon. Um, I've been working as a president of this ASIP uh, since the last December, following a great founding president of ASIP, Professor Seul Sung Su. I think ASIP is still very much depending on his efforts and energy. He's still here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please give him a big hand. First of all, I'm very much pleased to hold this ASIP 2020 conference in Jeju Island. Regardless of pandemic COVID-19 crisis worldwide. Um, I'd like to thank first to those people who helped and supported this ASIP conference. Um, First of all, uh, there are so many um, institutes uh, to help and support. Um, KIST and STEPI and Chungnam University and COTIS, Korea Technology Innovation Society, and also so many other research institutes. Uh, and also, I'm very much grateful to many um, people who participate and help this ASIP conference. First of all, in, as, a, as keynote speakers, um, President Yang Song Gwang, uh, Korea Innovation Foundation, and second keynote speaker, Yi Il Su, the President of Korea Meteorological Administration, and also third speaker is Professor, uh, President Park Young Il, Korea uh, Research Institute for Gangwon. Thank you very much. And also, thanks to all, uh, especially Korean and foreign moderators to lead many sessions and participants. We have prepared um, 10 sessions and a tutorial session and round tables. Uh, there are so many uh, fantastic papers and presentations for two days. I hope all participants in online and offline to share so many knowledge and ideas and uh, um, research results and also get uh, a lot of insights to help your work. Okay, uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Professor, President Ko. Next, we invited uh, three wonderful keynote speakers. And for keynote speech, uh, President Il Su Lee, uh, former administrator of Korea Meteorological Administration, and he will give us rethinking about climate change. Oh, yeah. 
First of all, I want to thank very much the, for the A, ASI, ASIP <laughs> for <laughs> invitation to head keynote speakers. Today, uh, I want to say about uh, climate change and uh, climate change rethinking about the climate change. Stephen Hawking, you know, the, the who studied in a uh, university past, said about our future. We are close to the tipping point where global warming becomes uh, irrelevant. Trump's action could push the Earth of the brick to become like Venus with a temperature of 250 degrees and uh, raining surfical acid. <laughs> the World Economy Forum, Forum uh, has a report every year. This early of early this year, uh, biggest global risk. What is the big, biggest global risk? It's uh, uh, described from uh, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Just now, 2020, extreme weather, climate, action, failure, major natural disaster, biodiversity loss, human-made environmental damage is the biggest global risk. Climate change. Normally, we said, if you say climate change, so everybody understanding global warming, just the carbon dioxide is high, higher, and higher, and the neutral oxide also higher, methane also higher. Global temperature is going up, 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 and the consumption carbon is also up. So, in the last 100 years, 100 only 0 0.664 degrees. Up. Now, I, I'm thinking about uh, another side. I think climate change is human life. I think climate change is political power. Climate change is a social issue. More than 17 million climate refugees, climate refugees are pay, past faced disaster. Developed countries are afraid that millions of climate refugees will demand them. Uh, cause of, uh, climate change is a cause of war. Professor Richard Siegel of Columbia University published in March 2015 an implication of climate change and a recent drop in Syria. Syria is a fertile census, a major birthplace of agriculture and the human civilization, was the worst drop in weather observed in 2007 to 2010, before the civil war. Of the 23 million Syrian people, and the 2,500 died, 10 million refugees, and 4.6 million foreign refugees. Uh, Syria also has many problems and South Africa, Sahara, and Central America also say climate change could threaten political stability. Everybody knows this picture, this mm -hmm. photo. He is a three year, years baby. He, he was founded in the Turkish coastal because the Syrian he, he was a Syrian, Syrian uh, climate refugee to move to Europe 
and then he was dead. Everybody knows this picture. And suffice his extension, say again, biodiversity loss. 2,050 million years ago, the Perrin period, more than 90% biomass extinction. Just now, similar to the end of the uh, Perrin period. Estimated animal extension rate 50%. Climate change, it's a, I think it's a political power. 2018, October, uh, Jacqueline Muro has uh, uh, one of YouTube. The mm -hmm. title is Where is Frank's Heading? At that time, Macron, President of Macron France, ecological transition, rising to taxes. It, its objective, primary leader, carbon reduction, outcome oil tax hike, resume retreat. It uh, make a big demonstration. So it's also spreading to the Belgium, Netherlands, US, Canada. Uh, 19, uh, 2018 Nobel Prize in Economics from Professor William no Norderhaus has, uh, has uh, uh, introduced climate casino. Notable change the climate regime when the temperature rise or falls about the five degrees. He said, don't gamble of the fate of the mankind like a game. This, this country, this island, uh, above 10 countries uh, will be disappeared because of the sea level is higher. In the Paris Agreement, they do not agree very climate agreement. So it's changing. They, they have a big problem, the existence of the state. Climate change is a social, social issue. Everybody knows Trump and uh, Greta uh, tr uh, Trump. Uh, but <laughs> but <laughs> Tumbri, crashed the Davos and US, uh, UN of the climate change. Uh, Trump said it is a not serious problem. Just that we prepared the plant of trees. Tumbri said it is the planting tree is important. However, just now, action, no action. So we need just now action. Uh, climate polarization. Developed countries are responsible for the climate change, but developing countries suffer from the impact of climate change. This is expressed as extreme. External effect, climate polarization, or climate inequality. Cultural heritage distinction. World heritage and the tourism in changing climate, reported by UNEP. 31 out of 1,000 world heritage property are vulnerable to climate change. Climate change. What is the solution? I think the, we need climate justice. Indian climate justice, uh, Prime Minister Modi said at the climate summit, new climate regime should be on principle of common, but different 
created responsibility. Primary justice movement is now in a limelight around the world as the damage and the impact of the climate change are noticeable and country vulnerable to climate change are distinct to see green future. UN also said from the Millennium Development Goals to Sustainable Development Goals. Climate technology for innovation. Climate technologies that we help us reduce greenhouse gases. For example, renewable energy, soft climate technology, next generation data storage devices, secondary battery, agriculture, financial, also including policies. Let's take a conclusion. Uh, English, uh, England uh, uh, newspaper company Guardian said in 2019, climate emergency or climate crisis to be used to be used instead of climate change. Climate crisis impacts human life, socio-economic, political conflict, state existence, etc. Climate technologies are one of the solutions to make innovation for sustainable our future. Thank you for listening. I proceed to my presentation. Uh, my name is Young Ilba. Uh, uh, actually, a current uh, president of uh, Research Institute for Gangwon. Uh, but uh, until uh, 2007, uh, I, wo I was working for the Ministry of Science and Technology of Korea. So, actually, my interesting um, area where uh, my focus uh, was on national innovation system. But uh, this summer, I moved to Regional Institute for Gangwon, I mean Regional Research Institution. So, after that, uh, I illuminated uh, regional innovation system again. Uh, so I want to speak and share my experience uh, as a president of a regional research institute uh, with you. Uh, I'd like to follow uh, this uh, uh, topics. Uh, so uh, first, I want to uh, introduce. Uh, my institute, research institute for Gangwon, and also I want to uh, talk about the uh, role of uh, regional research institute uh, for uh, regional innovation system, uh, and also I'd like to uh, introduce you two cases. Uh, one is uh, my Gangwon case, and another one is the Mekong case. The Mekong case was studied last year uh, with the support of uh, KIST, K I S T. Uh, actually, uh, Dr. Hong uh, Pi Jung uh, is there, uh, is attending this conference, and he will uh, give us uh, the, some uh, Korea Vietnam uh, cooperation research activities tomorrow. And also, I'd like to finalize lesson one. Let me introduce uh, my institute first. The uh, institute's name is uh, Research Institute for Gangwon. Uh, you can assume, yeah, you can think uh, the role of uh, RIG because the uh, because uh, the name for Gangwon means everything. Research Institute for Gangwon's mission is uh, to enhance the value of Gangwon province and also uh, through the research. Uh, to contribute to local economies improvement, improvement and quality of local communities life. Uh, but the, this mission uh, will be accomplished by the help of the uh, local province of Gangwon. Uh, RIG Research Institute for Gangwon was established in 1994 and this year we celebrated 
26 uh, first day, but uh, because of COVID-19, uh, we canceled the, <laughs> canceled the uh, activities. Uh, research Institute for Gangwon uh, was the seven uh, regional research institutes among uh, 16 provinces. We have uh, about 120 members, but every day the number is changing because we have so many uh, contracted uh, research assistants and also uh, contracted uh, administrators. We have uh, about 36 or 7 uh, PhD researchers and more than 50 research assistants and also 31, uh, 31 administrators. Annual budget last year, uh, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, this year, this year's budget is uh, about 16.5 uh, billion Korean currency. Uh, that means that uh, 16, 16 million uh, US dollars. But I think uh, next year, uh, this budget will be uh, will be uh, smaller. Uh, will be smaller because we new build because because we build new building this year. So yeah. So uh, Hangwon, Hangwon province, uh, Hangwon province is the uh, object of our research. Uh, Hangwon province is the uh, eastern middle of the Korean Peninsula, and typically, Hangwon province is divided by two sectors: northern Hangwon and also southern Hangwon. This is the sole divided uh, local province in the world. I know. So. Northern Gangwon has uh, 17 local governments and also uh, 11,000 uh, square kilometers. Uh, Southern Gangwon uh, has uh, 18 in government, local governments and the area is 16.8 uh, uh, square kilometers. So the uh, Southern Gangwon is much bigger than uh, Northern Gangwon, uh, but uh, there is uh, Gangwon, the name of Gangwon, we share the uh, same name uh, between North and South, so uh, we have some um, kind of uh, identity, or some kind of uh, same uh, entity uh, uh, split. So, uh, RIG's uh, research uh, topic covers, the, covers both Northern Gangwon and Southern Gangwon. We cover all South and North Gangwon's issues. RIG's major activities are research, mid-term and long-term planning, and policy studies on regional economy, and also regional industrial structure. Uh, of course, 80% uh, of Gangwon area is the mountain area, and so we, our Gangwon's uh, industrial structure is mainly focused on the agriculture and forest and fishery, but now we are slowly moving to the advanced uh, uh, manufacturing industry or advanced uh, uh, first generation, uh, first generation, uh, first industrial revolution technology based industries. And also we are doing research on urban planning, rural planning, and SOC management, and also culture and tourism. Uh, these are the main topics of our uh, RIG research activities. And also we specialize on abandoned mines in the southern part of Gangwon, and also the DMG uh, areas to the uh, northern part of Gangwon. Uh, I mean, the uh, covers the DMG area uh, between northern Gangwon and southern Gangwon. It covers about uh, 150 kilometers, something like that. Now we are uh, doing some more research activities on future issues in the region. Uh, mainly, these future issues are concerning about the innovation issues. Toward the next 
10 or 20 years. And these issues are especially related to local government support program or central government support program. We are, we are planning and also we are participating in these kind of programs. At this time, as a uh, president of Regional uh, Research Institute, uh, I am uh, illuminating Regional Innovation System, RIS. So, uh, what is RIS? RIS consists of interacting knowledge generation and exploitation service system linked to global, national, and other regional systems for commercializing new knowledge. So, RIS is a useful framework for studying economic and innovative performance. And also, RIS gives uh, uh, functional tools to enhance the innovation process of firms. So, uh, among RIS, we have a lot of a set of institutions, both public and private, uh, which pro uh, produce pervasive and systemic effort, uh, effect that encouraging firms in the region to adopt common norms, expectations, values, attitudes, and practices. The culture of innovation is mutual and knowledge transfer process are enhanced. But RIS cannot, uh, NIS cannot adequately do the area or do the function of RIS. Uh, that's our common, um, in common um, sense. Uh, Phil Cook, uh, who studied the RIS and also who studied the uh, RIS of uh, Daegu Gyeongbuk in Korea and compared to uh, the uh, uh, Daegu Gyeongbuk's case to the uh, Northern in Europe's case, yeah, he said about the, he summarized about this kind of RIS, RIS system and also set the uh, framework uh, for studying the RIS. He proposed this kind of framework. Uh, you can see the, on the part of the, this diagram, uh, these are mainly related to uh, knowledge generation and diffusion um, functions. And also the upper part of this uh, diagram, uh, we can find some uh, knowledge application or exploitation subsystems. And between two uh, subsystems, there are Technology transfer, knowledge transfer activities uh, within this uh, RIS, uh, RIS system. Then, what is the role of regional institute for the uh, regional innovation? The role of regional in institute covers the uh, these uh, that areas, the uh, midland midland lower part, uh, mainly concerning the uh, knowledge generation and knowledge transfer systems. So, uh, as a uh, regional institute, RIG went to the, the appropriate role in these areas. And also, uh, we have, we should, I think we should do uh, these kind of activities uh, for regional innovation. Uh, formation of clusters, and communications, communications between knowledge generation and knowledge exploitation system, and also education, that means to provide the uh, educated people, educated manpower uh, to RIS system, RIS, and also linkage, linkage between upper and lower uh, subsystem, and also knowledge transfer, investment, and inducing investment also, and also policy authority. So, this is the, uh, uh, these are the, uh, all, these all are the role of a regional institute for regional innovation. So, uh, what is Gangwon case? This is the future issues of uh, Gangwon uh, for innovation. Uh, there are, uh, I pick 10 uh, major issues. Of course, I, of course, uh, many uh, scholars, uh, have uh, different uh, ideas, but uh, I define uh, Gangwon's future issues as 10 innovation issues. First one is Gangwon's plan for 
Selective Future Technologies, and g a n g w a n s Implementation Plan for SDG, and also New Space Design for Young Generation, uh, and Long Term Plan for g a n g w a n Agriculture and Forest, Urban and uh, Nature Landscape Planning for New g a n g w a n Value, and Demand Forecast for g a n g w a n Associate for 2040. I mean the 20 years uh, long term plan, and also policy for enterprise attraction and global business, and vitalizing g a n g w a n bio belt, and enhancing R&D investment activities in g a n g w a n Our members, uh, Ms. j i w o n Yang, will, uh, will, will study these issues. Uh, She's there. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and also, uh, finally, DMG studies and g a n g w a n area studies. As I mentioned before, uh, the first two innovative uh, issues is g a n g w a n s plan for selective 10 future technologies. I'll introduce 10 future technologies. Yeah? Pick up by our uh, governor, <laughs> province governor. Uh, first one is 3D laser, 6G. Hydrogen fusion, thorium energy, quantum computing, plasma, immune antibody, blockchain, liquid hydrogen, high temperature superconductivity. So, my role is to pick up what is the really selective area by the criterion of uh, technology and industry attraction and also the future competitiveness of our province. <laughs> This very, very uh, Important, but very, very difficult job yeah, to me. So, I think the g a n g w a n s RIS model is mainly, mainly focused for the innov innovation capability. To build, how to build the innovation capability for g a n g w a n is the best, first, best and first uh, mission to me. So, we have, uh, Some um, innovation capabilities such as RIG, uh, my institute, and also g a n g w o n TP, and Chunsan Bio, and KIST Gangneung, uh, Scripps Korea, and many uh, universities and hospitals. But this is very, very uh, small and very, very limited. And also the quality is not uh, very uh, adequate for a new approach. So we want to build Uh, more capabilities in g a n g w o n more uh, e innovative uh, agencies, or the innovative actors in g a n g w o n area. Uh, that's the main point of uh, g a n g w o n RIS. As I mentioned before, we studied the Mekong case last year, and with the help of the KIST and v k i s t and also uh, some Korean and Vietnamese uh, uh, expertise, We identify uh, many innovative issues for uh, Mekong Delta areas. I mean the Vietnamese Mekong Delta areas. So there are several issues, but uh, I pick up 10 issues also here. Uh, first one is landslide, and second one is uh, water scarcity. Third one is uh, climate change monitoring. Uh, first is the industrial structure advancement. Fifth is human resource development, and also science, technology, innovation system, and international cooperation, and improving quality of life, and expanding infrastructure urbanization, and also pre preserving ecosystem, and so on. So, for doing this well, we need also uh, Mekong RIS uh, model, and also in this model, It is very similar to g a n g w o n case. The main focus will be on the uh, establish of establishment of the uh, innovation actors, innovation capabilities in Mekong Delta area. There are very small uh, research institutions in Mekong Delta areas, and also uh, there are very, very limited uh, rural. Uh, Uh, research uh, institutions, uh, so and universities. So, such as Vikist or other uh, international 
innovation actors will be needed in this area. So we are expecting many other uh, research institutions or universities or in Korea uh, can participate in this, in this Mekong area development. And also we want to make some cooperative uh, innovation, innovative programs between those kind of uh, research actors, uh, innovation actors. I'd like to finalize the lesson learned. Also in case of uh, Gangwon and Mekong, I think this is a new trend and this is a new, I mean the new norm, yeah? To believe, uh, to be privilege uh, regional innovation as the correlate of national innovation. We have to more focus on the regional university system as much as the national university system, and also the uh, competitive regional and local industry uh, cluster is very, very important. We have to think about the ways, tools yeah. to formate, uh, formate the uh, industrial clusters, and also especially in science-based, technology-based industry, uh, industrial uh, clusters. And also, regional institute tends to be the public sector local government sectors is the uh, one of the uh, major uh, points uh, for improving the regional innovation systems and the region generation and division subsystem among areas will be strengthened more than uh, more than uh, today's situation so uh, for, for, from this uh, implication uh, RIG will play a uh, play a more innovative role in common areas. I'd like to thanks to all these uh, institute and um, personnel, uh, especially KIST and VKIST, and Dr. Sangkil Jung, and President Kim dong of VKIST, and Dr. Yun Chal Jung, Dr. Wonju Hangbo, and Dr. Uh, Yeonju Oh, Professor Tae Kim, Dr. In Young Hwang, and uh, Ms. Ji Won Yang, and, and Ms. Uh, Yu Min Kim. Uh, among, um, among this list, uh, almost everyone will be present next uh, two hour of session, and uh, they will give us some um, valuable talks, uh, I imagine. So please participate or uh, give attention to the tomorrow's session. Thanks for your attention, and also uh, I'd like uh, to meet you again in ASIP 2021. And if you cannot remember me, then please remember me of uh, black masked, <laughs> black masked uh, man in 2000, 2020, because I'm the only one <laughs> who wears the black, black mask. mask. Yeah. Thank you. Hello okay. everybody, I am Song Gong Yang, the president of Korea Innovation Foundation. Uh, thank you for your kind invitation of keynote speech of 2020 ASIP conference. Uh, today, I'm gonna uh, present uh, about the innovation plan of Dado Innopolis. Uh, Innopolis means innovation cluster of Korea. Actually, I uh, prepared this presentation uh, in Korean. Uh, now, uh, in this presentation, I will use both Korean and English. Next. Next, present. Okay. Uh, Korea Innovation Crust, Innopolis, is uh, originated from Daedok Science Town, which was uh, established in 1973. At that time, uh, human uh, and financial resource is in, uh, sufficient, and uh, this resource uh, was statically distributed in uh, Korea. So, uh, government decided to concentrate uh, this R&D uh, access to one area, indigenous area. Uh, so, they moved government research institute and 
archives, etc. Next, this head of uh, Science Town became the driving force of uh, South Korea's economic growth, especially for semiconductor, uh, automobile, etc. during 80s and 90s. Next. Uh, but around uh, two, early 2000, uh, national science and technology environment uh, uh, was uh, dramatically uh, changed, especially the private, uh, private industry suppressed the public sector in R&D capacity. So the government to rethink the strategy of public technology commercialization through large uh, enterprise. But, uh, uh, other than uh, large enterprise, small SME and uh, startups are still uh, in need for government R&D support. And also, uh, technology supply and demand platforms uh, mostly uh, distri distribute around the Seoul uh, area. And uh, the need for regional-oriented technology transfer and commercialization startup ecosystem is needed. So, next please. So, government decided to uh, change the uh, data science town to innovation cluster, Innopolis. So, government decided, uh, established a uh, special act in uh, 2005. So, they uh, added uh, the original uh, uh, Science Town, and they added the business zone and industry zone, and also the government inside the uh, data uh, Innopolis, they uh, gave benefits for uh, tax benefits and then uh, uh, innovation infrastructures and also uh, R&D uh, fund, and also Korea Innovation Foundation was built, uh, was established around that time. Next, please. And this Innopolis, uh, now uh, uh, we have uh, 15, 15 years in uh, Innopolis, and uh, companies in uh, data Innopolis uh, grow, uh, even though it's not fast, gradually it's grow. And the resident companies and net revenue, and uh, also companies with net revenue, uh, it's more than uh, 10 billion won higher, and the cost list companies are growing uh, very fast. Next, please. Tedok Innopolis companies grow, uh, grew in terms of R&D capital also. Uh, in the picture, it will show, the right side of the picture shows the uh, Tedok Innopolis company. They depend the government fund. Uh, around 10 years ago, uh, about 10%, but now it's doubled. 20% of their R&D fund depend on uh, government. Also, the gross, uh, gross rate of patent application and gross rate patent publication is much higher than national uh, companies. Next, please. And this uh, growth is also uh, focused in uh, high-tech companies or medium high-tech companies. In the picture, uh, you can see the low-tech and medium-tech company uh, is uh, the number of the mid-tech mid, mid and low company is just the uh, same, but the uh, number of uh, high-tech and medium high-tech company uh, uh, grow very fast. Especially uh, revenue of medium high tech companies uh, uh, in 2018 is around 60 percent. Next, and then uh, when we uh, review uh, the uh, Innopolis company, a top 25 com uh, company with higher or uh, uh, highest revenues. Uh, in 2007, uh, the company uh, mostly uh, large uh, enterprise or large enterprise 
affiliates uh, covers. So only SME is uh, three company out of 25. But uh, in 2018, SME uh, is expanded uh, eight to eight, and then seven uh, large enterprise affiliates also is related uh, to SME. So more than 50% uh, of uh, highest revenue companies are from uh, SME. Next, please. Then what are the barriers to innovations? Next. Uh, when you see left side pictures, uh, GRI in uh, Paddock Innopolis, they uh, uh, their relationship with uh, other uh, organizations, mostly uh, related to outside. The outside in a police is mostly 72%, only 27% is inside uh, in a police uh, organization. And also, the in a police company, they, uh, their business partners are mostly from outside uh, in a police. Almost, uh, around 80% uh, of uh, uh, their uh, partners are located in outside Innopolis. Next. Uh, another problem uh, is uh, their uh, research complex, head uh, of science in town, uh, lacks efficiency in land use. It caused uh, you know obstacle uh, to it became an obstacle to open innovation. So around sixty percent of total land uh, is undeveloped. It's used for parking lots, recreation uh, ground, and green uh, areas as a flat. Also, uh, for the uh, area for the uh, corporate is less than two percent, and. Uh, land use is less than 50% 50, 50 of research complex. That means uh, this data uh, science town uh, uh, is only for the uh, university and uh, researchers, not for the company. So the open innovation between researchers and uh, companies is very uh, difficult in this situation. Next, please. Another problem is inside the research complex, uh, there are uh, very few cultural and living uh, facilities. The right side picture shows that uh, uh, during the lunch time, uh, they uh, use several uh, transportation. Uh, in the Gangnam and the Pangyo, they use, uh, they uh, normally uh, use uh, uh, on foot by walk, but uh, uh, in data science town, they use own car. That means inside the uh, data uh, science town area, there are not enough uh, cultural and uh, living uh, facilities. Next, please. So, uh, and we also uh, ask the stakeholders what they need for renovation uh, in uh, uh, this uh, innovation ecosystem. So for the researchers, they uh, mentioned that uh, R&D for destructive innovation is uh, uh, insufficient. Also, uh, R&D in reflection of market demand is also uh, insufficient. Uh, for infrastructures, un, uh, underdeveloped infrastructures for sharing and the utilization of information on market, industry, and technology trends. Uh, for uh, network-wise, the weak relationship between research and industry. And also uh, for startup uh, ecosystem, the incubating capacity is very low. Uh, Another problem is the venture capital market and uh, exit market is premature. Next, please. 
Next, I will show you uh, strategies for data innovation. Next. Uh, first, uh, we uh, uh, survey the uh, success factor of uh, overseas innovations cluster. First, uh, RTP uh, uh, research triangle park for uh, in uh, USA. The success factor is they have uh, operating system for. Uh, through the public and private cooperation with long-term visions. And second one, the Finland in Finland Autonomy Science Park. Uh, this park uh, has industry uh, academic collaboration led by uh, global companies uh, such as MS. And third, Israel Silicon Wadi. Uh, it has uh, Technology commercialization specializes the subsidy of university and research center, such as uh, Yeda. Next, please. Uh, based on this background, uh, we uh, try to uh, build uh, space, space innovation. Uh, to break down the walls and connect people and space and develop innovation ecosystem where research centers, companies, and citizens actually actively mingle together. So first, uh, to uh, make uh, uh, you know uh, conductive in uh, startup conductive environment and also active convergence research. Uh, uh, environment. Uh, second one is reconstruct the uh, suburban research complex to interactive and mutually beneficial innovative cluster. And third one, uh, local based developing and spreading regional innovation cultures. Fourth one, building the smart city with appealing residential uh, conditions. Next, please. Based on this philosophy, we have five uh, strategies. First one is promotion of interdisciplinary integration research. First one is planning and operating challenging interdisciplinary research in collaboration with data enterprises. Second one, open data platform based on AI. Third one, based on these two uh, program, we are running uh, data in a police flagship uh, programs. Next, please. Second one uh, is developing innovation hub. Uh, we uh, need to uh, develop uh, some specific uh, cluster, which uh, you know, in which industry and academic cooperation is uh, you know uh, get together and. Uh, uh, actively uh, uh, performed. And this one, uh, we uh, try to develop space and infrastructure where companies and university and research centers can get together and focus on joint research and technology commercializations, startup and network. And we are, uh, we are uh, trying to uh, utilize uh, spare space uh, neighboring research institutes by rezoning uh, and by attracting private uh, investment. And we uh, try to develop uh, this uh, cooperation cluster to uh, a laboratory based startup complex. Uh, we uh, consider several uh, uh, industrial areas such as bio, health, AI, or materials part or device sectors. And then we're going to uh, uh, establish some infrastructure uh, in uh, this laboratory based startups. Next, please. This picture shows uh, the area we consider three uh, laboratory based startup complex. Uh, first one is bio health uh, near uh, 
uh, heist. And the second one uh, is material part and device uh, near uh, uh, in, uh, Institute of uh, Chemical Research. And third one is AI, AI near ATRI. Next, please. Most important thing is, uh, you know, culture. So we uh, try to develop uh, open cultural exchange spaces. So we are uh, uh, considering space with free atmosphere for researchers and entrepreneurs and citizens. And then uh, we try to make some open space with uh, public access to common research facilities and disclose uh, walkways. And this space for uh, citizens, such as working decks and rec uh, recreational areas and public uh, restrooms along the riverside and uh, adjacent to the research institute. We are considering three spots for creating a complex cultural space where researchers and citizens meet. And we are considering uh, three spots. The first one uh, is uh, research complex stadium uh, try to rebuild uh, for the renovation park and we are considering national science museum and the science complex uh, along the that uh, street we want to specialize in science culture and then uh, lastly we try to create a space for complex uh, cultural service by utilizing data science culture center etc Next, this picture show how to uh, approach uh, this kind of uh, cultural uh, cultural space for the uh, sports complex. We try to uh, add additional uh, construction of underground parking lot, also sports complex and sports space and plaza welfare facilities. So we try to create uh, as an attraction for daily culture and sports for all researchers, researchers and citizens. Next. Uh, the first one is uh, try to create a business friendly environment. First one, uh, create a startup uh, data uh, around the Chungnam National University and Christ we, we try to create an open startup uh, complex space. And also, the uh, second one is uh, supply land to SMEs for R&D. So by utilizing uh, inter, uh, inactive websites of large enterprise, uh, we try to create a joint research center of SMEs and small lab par uh, parks. Third one, we try to create DEDOC, uh, DEDOC scale of fund. So try to create a DEDOC scale of fund that can uh, support with larger amount of money without uh, prelim preliminary requirement uh, based on business years. Next, please. This uh, uh, picture uh, shows uh, DEDOC sci uh, science town area. So. Uh, the renovation plan for this uh, district, we're going to put uh, uh, use uh, startup hub and also uh, interdisciplinary uh, R&D hub and then uh, cultural hub and then uh, uh, company support hub and then we try to make uh, uh, the, the uh, space, uh, utilize the space in uh, their efficiency. Next. Finally, we try to improve uh, transportation system linking research and industrial areas. So in uh, Data Science Park, we try to operate uh, electric uh, bus circulating district one. And also, we try to uh, establish uh, new interdisciplinary uh, 
transportation between uh, research area and industrial uh, area, and which uh, also uh, are planning to uh, create a SBRT route for direct access between uh, Data KT X station, Yusong Terminal, and uh, Chengju Airport. Next. This picture shows a human brain. The dot means uh, neuron, and each line means uh, synapse. I think uh, the universities and also research institutes, uh, uh, we can think uh, uh, can be a uh, uh, neuron, and synapse is the uh, connection. So uh, this connection, this neuron, uh, is changed and is active, actively changed when we uh, communicated well. So uh, we try to uh, make head of science town uh, that uh, has well connected ecosystem. Uh, I think this is all. Thank you for your attention. I'd like to thank you. Uh, to SIP uh, president and uh, members uh, in inviting me uh, this uh, brilliant conference. Thank you very much.